what is up savages it's your boy twisty and it's gonna be a short video and i'm gonna tell you what i personally think is the best nat 5 in the game okay so um let's just i've made sort of a, of a list here let's just remove that and let's get to the list okay so these are the runner-ups and then i will tell you what i think is the best so there you can see i have ham as one of the examples and the reason why I don't know why it's not loading why Han is so good is because this does a shit ton of damage and basically nukes everyone so it's a single target but you can one shot you know your Conrad because Conrad's amazing now as well Conrad's really OP um, everyone's been building a 6 star in Conrad and I'm really scared of Conrad too I don't know what I'm going to do uh, against him because now my Veramos is going to be destroyed and then we've also got Isis Isis is a very very calm and relaxed organization uh, they believe in world peace and they have a light in this game they are actually the light side in this game and uh, she has this strangely shaped Illuminati sign okay so Illuminati is taken over Lamati confirmed, uh, and she puts everyone to oblivion, and so it's the only skill in the game that does AOE oblivion. So Isis is pretty overpowered, and is considered one of the best Nat fives in the game. Let's go to then Sigmara. Sigmaras. The reason why he's so amazing, I don't need to show him because you've already seen him, is because he is farmable, and if some monster is farmable, it automatically makes it overpowered. Like everyone thinks that Shumar is really overpowered because he's farmable. I mean. You, you know, you just got to be careful of these final monsters. And of course, Sigmaris is very, very strong uh, with his skills. So, Sigmaris is up there as well. Let's have a look at the next runner-up. Uh, we have Netflix. So, that's actually a fire monster. So, and Netflix is... I'll show you when it loads. There we go. Scrolling up somehow loads quicker. Oh, that's the wrong one. I think it's the... I, that's not the wind. Is it the wind? I've got a feeling it's the wind. As you can see, I don't have them. That's half. Oh, wow. Well, this is going well. There we go. No. Well, I don't even know what Neth this is. Is it like a... It'll be one of the newer ones. But either way, either way, either way, I have a feeling that it is... Who the hell is it? Right, pause in the video until I find who the hell this is. Okay, so Nephis is actually the dark version. And she kind of basically, she, you can't resist her effects and you can't stun her. So she's pretty powerful. in Because, you know, stunning, stunning, stun skills are everything in this game. We're going to do bagel. You just need to have AoE stuns and you'll win. Atemiel. Everyone knows who, well, most people know who, who he was because he appeared on the cover page. And he is there. And he counterattacks all the time. And basically, he fucks you over whenever you try and crit. So, yeah, you get fucked over by Antonio quite a lot. Um, then we're going to go man 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 And he is here. And basically, he, uh, if you have harmful effects, he will do shit, shit tons of damage and one-shot everyone. So he's really over overpowered, right? So, let's have a look who else, uh, who, who is also good. Eladriel. Eladriel is one of the top Nat 5s because he is one of the best revivers in the game. I mean, it's, it's always debatable, but he's always very powerful because this revives him with the full HP. And he has 50%... HP skill here anyway, so he's pretty powerful. I don't have him, wish I had him, but yeah, he's one top night fives. And uh, let's have a look at who else. Uh, we have Imaceti. I think if I guess this correctly, nope. That's half or is not it? That's not. Is it him? This may not be an actually. This may not be a nut five. This may not be a nat 5. But I've got a feeling that it's... What the hell's going on here? Hang on a sec. I'll BRB. Okay, so this guy made it on the list. And he's not even nat 5. He is actually OP. So if you pair him copper, 
it's called the Free Star. Everyone loves those Free Star monsters, so they're really overpowered. And he decreases your attack gauge, and he decreases attack power. Really overpowered monster. So actually, no, he decreases attack bar, but he's really overpowered. So you gotta be careful with him. He makes the list as one of the best nat fours in the game. And then we have Ciara. Ciara is really OP thanks to her new um, newfound buff. So basically, two a two a hard stage seventy. Unless you have provoke, which most people can get provoke because they have Ammon, you fucked. Um, but when you got provoke, it's pretty easy actually. Uh, I just completely forgot about provoke. I forgot provoke even existed because I never I barely ever see it the way I play. So yeah. Um. So I actually didn't clear that stage, I could have, but I just forgot. Okay, so then we have this Okanus guy, and he is a, the Fire Sea Emperor. And he's really powerful because he stuns, and the, the attack bar gets recovered as well, so you can go again, and then nuke someone's skill, nuke his Aeros or something like that with his second skill. Really, really overpowered, okay? Okay, so now we're getting to the big boys because we're getting low down on the list. Uh, Hathor, which is the fire... Jesus Christ. Fine. Hathor is the wind one, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Um, she puts everyone to sleep. Basically, this is a free turn sleep, almost. Because you have two turns of sleep and you also have the AoE attack by decrease. Even if this was just the AoE attack by decrease, this would still be a very overpowered skill. Not overpowered, but very useful skill. So she's considered to be one of the better nat foils, nat fives in the game. Really, really scary to go against. You've got to be careful when facing her. Next one we have is Ningong, and he is the light pioneer. Super, super overpowered skills. Um, he revives and basically, no, he creates shield first of all, and then. Um, he, the, the, if I dies with the shield, they revive instantly. So it's really, really powerful to keep your Theomars alive for even longer. Super annoying, unless you have buff removal. So he's considered one of the best Nat 5s in the game. Next is Camilla. Do I really need to debate about Camilla? So Camilla is a bitch. And she is here, okay? She basically do you basically take forever to kill her. She will do shit ton of damage to you and she heals herself. So good luck killing her. Um she's really annoying to deal with, but you'll get around it eventually. Just bring your overpowered Signaris, because he's Fallen Boy's overpowered, so you can one shot Camilla uh, with your overpowered Signaris, okay? So then we have Ethna. Ethna is really overpowered because one of the best Snap fives in the game. Uh, because she has this skill, which um, stuns Theomars, basically. And um, yeah, you can also do, if, you, if you're trying to one-shot Theomars, you can also do dots. So if Theomars tries the violent proc out of, say, a stun or something like that, then you're going to insta-kill uh, Theomars. So Theomars is really powerful because Theomars is overpowered, uh, so we have to have a monster that's overpowered to counter him. So if you can count, if you can kill Theomars, the monster's overpowered. That's how that's how the game works now because Theomars is the meta. Theomars by himself is the meta, current meta in this game. Okay, so then we have Nikki. Uh, Nikki is the dark occult girl, and the reason why she's so overpowered and considered one of the best in the hive in the game is because of the HP recovery disturbing. So free turn HP discovery. Uh, this is amazing for Necro, amazing for Arena to fuck over Belazion teams and uh, other gay and annoying teams like that. Well, we will not just stop your Chisun from being a bitch, but either way, Nikki is really overpowered. High damage on her skills, you can one shot your um, Eladriel, so you've got to be very, very careful with that. And for last but not least, Alicia or Elsa. And this is considered one of the, basically, one of the best Net Hives in the game. And basically, she kills everyone with this, and if she doesn't kill anyone, she gets an extra turn, and then uses this and kills everyone again. So, unless you have Endure, like Theomars, because you have a Powered, you're fucked. Okay, so, that just went, uh, quickly went over the list of um, the monsters that I think are personally the best in that 5 in the game. I don't know how you guys are going to agree with it, but 
I wanted to go over a smaller thing, and you're probably wondering, ah, some of these not highs are actually not that great, because, you know, Theomars is so overpowered. Why is it Theomars on the list? Okay, now, I, while I've been, do, I've been doing some testing, I've been looking on Reddit, and I, I found the monster which is the best Nat 5 in the game, and this is the final reveal of the video. You guys are going to love it. And um, as I, as I uh, explained it here, if you check the first line, the first letter of each line, and you will, you'll see the best monster, okay? So if we've got, we've got H-I-S, so it's his, and then you've got N-A-M-E, so it's his name, and then you've got I and S here, his, and then you've got J-O-N, J-O-H-N, so John, and then it's C-E-N-A, so his name is John Cena! Oy, wankers! Uh, such a troll video. Uh, I couldn't really think of anything to upload, so I thought I might as well do something funny. See, uh, sorry for the clickbait, uh, but p feel free to dislike, but it's just something funny I thought I might as well put on. Prank you friends. Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to like notice it straight away, because I was wondering why I was making this. Isn't this kind of like obvious? You know, because Han and Isis are so short that you might actually check the um the order of the first letters but you know some people might not so check it out see if you can prank any of your friends see you guys in the next video whenever i post one peace out